My name is Randall Joyce. I've uh, been an instructor here at Murray State University in both the Cybersecurity um, Network Management undergraduate program and the Cybersecurity Master's program. I teach uh, most of the digital forensics courses and the incident response courses here on campus. Uh, it's an interesting experience getting to share my knowledge with students in these areas. I've been in IT for about two decades or so. Uh, I've done everything from basic help desks to, you know, security related roles, uh, and project management and whatnot. So it's been an adventure. Hardest uh, part of the digital forensics investigator role is just having that wide breadth of knowledge about it because nowadays you have everything from you know back in the early 90s where you were looking at you know host security and doing you know recovery on you know, your basic PC or whatnot. Now you have to worry about you know mobile devices and wearable technology and what's in the cloud and and, and whatnot. So I, it's been a you know a wide development of where all the forensics you know, have to be able to look at uh, is nowadays. The way that CHFI has helped me in my career is it's helped me gain more knowledge. Like I was talking about earlier, there's that wide variety of knowledge you have to have with all the different areas for digital forensics, learning about all the different you know structures and where all the logs and where all that information is at is really critical. And like I said, you know, a lot of us grew up doing acquisitions off you know your host devices, you know. USBs, stuff like that. And nowadays, like I said, you have to think about wearable tech, um, you know, mobile devices, what's in the cloud, where's the metadata with all that. And uh, this uh, digital forensics uh, investigator role, like I said, you know, that's really critical being able to understand where all that's at or where to get that information on where to locate that stuff is. Um, and I think that's the most challenging part of it. My skills I've developed uh, from the CHFI program, uh, like I said, I'm a little bit different since I'm an educator, so I've you know learned a vast amount of knowledge from the program and I've sharpened my skills, but it's really helped me, like I said, you know, I teach mainly in the undergraduate, but it's helped me move into the master's graduate realm where I had to take up, you know, take the knowledge to the next level for graduate students. And that's been really helpful with that, like I said, making sure they understand, you know, from the host level all the way to the SOC level and how to go about managing, you know, instant response with those. So that's one been, the, you know, one been one of the critical things for me. So the way I think that CHFI has been, you know, helpful with preparing individuals for SOC um, is, like, like I said earlier, I think most of us grew up on the the mindset of, you know, this is, you know, your traditional acquisition, you're going to go grab the device, then image it, you know, making sure, like I said, you're following all the procedures, making sure you get all the data, whereas the SOC is more of a, a living creature, so you're, you're having all the inputs coming in, you're having all the, the logs and all that stuff going through there, so you're, you're, you're going through the process with the CHFI of doing that root cause analysis, going through here and triaging it uh, to see, okay, is this the breach, is, you know, is this actually happening in real time, or is it, you know, something static or, or whatnot? So I think it's doing a good job of preparing uh, individuals to go through that uh, process of doing the root cause analysis and doing this in response to the breach when it actually happens. So the advice I'd give to somebody that's getting ready to take the uh, exam would be go through, like I said, go through all of your iLabs, do the, the, the exercises that's going to help reinforce all of the material. Uh, like I said, that really helped me, you know, make sure I had a good understanding of all the tools, their capabilities, whatnot. Also, like I said, go through the text, read it. Uh, I'm not saying you have to memorize it or anything like that, but have a good understanding of how it all correlates. That's really helpful. And like I said, go online, get a practice exam, run through it, see how that stuff goes. And it'll, it'll help you out in the end.